Welcome to Bahamas Educational Express Science Lesson video. We are going to talk about biomes and we're going to talk about three types of biomes. The first one is the tropical rainforest. In this lesson, you will be able to define the term rainforest, list some of the animals and plants in a rainforest, state why the rainforest is important to humans and the earth. What is the rainforest? Rainforest regions are areas of forests which are warm, wet, and humid. They are hot because they are near the equator, but they also have lots of rainfall. More than half of the world's animal and plant species live in the forest. The trees in these regions are responsible for producing a huge amount of the world's oxygen supply. Also, it is a pharmacy. Many of the plants are used for medicine. Many of the trees are used for food. Here are the major rainforests of the world. We have them in almost every continent of the world. The four layers of the rainforest. The rainforest can be naturally divided into four main layers, from the highest to the lowest. At the top is the emergent layer, where the tops of the tallest trees rise above the rest of the forest up to 70 meters high, catching the best of the sunlight. Below that is the canopy, the dense leafy tops of the remaining trees reaching about 40 meters high, still receiving lots of sunlight. It makes for a good habitat. Moving down again, there is the understory. It is the darker and warmer under the majority of the leaves featuring leafy bushes, smaller trees, and vines. At the bottom is the forest floor. There's lots of shade, pools of water, very little sunlight, and a carpet of dead leaves covering the ground. Now, we're going to look at them in more detail. Let's look at the emergent layer. There is bright sunlight and very little shade at the emergent layer towers above everything else. Trees often have mushroom shaped tops pushing up and out over the layer below. They can reach up to 60 meters high. As well as being hot, it is also very windy up this high. Some birds look for a nesting place up here away from predators. Animals found here include some monkeys, birds, such as the happily eagle and the scarlet macaw, butterflies and bats. There is space to fly or swing between the trees. Creatures living here must be able to cope with the heat and the wind and find food high up. Some of the tallest trees in the rainforest is the Brazil nut tree. The canopy layer. Let's find out about this. The canopy is often considered the main layer or is referred to as the habitat zone. It is where the most creatures live and where the leaves and the vegetations 
are most densely found. This means that there is also plenty food. Sunlight is a little more limited, but there's still plenty of it and also lots of rain. It's not as dark as the layers below. Vines and branches often intertwine while leaves from each tree grow out, up against the overlapping with their neighbors. This is what forms a continuous canopy over everything below. Animals living here include tree frogs, butterflies, slouts, monkeys, iguanas, and tucans and uh, putus. This is the most crowded area with many different types of animal species and it is very busy. Plants up here include the epiphytes, which grow on other plants such as tree branches rather than having roots in the ground. They get their moisture from the air. Let's look at the understory. The understory receives significantly less sunlight than the two layers above making it much more dark and damp. It is relatively open compared with the thick, dense layer above. It includes young trees up to around four meters tall and other plants which do not rely on lots of sunlight. These are the perfect condition for lots of insects and reptiles to breed and survive. The raton plant is found among the plant species here, which is harvest to make furniture. Animals found in the understory range from frogs and snakes to fruit bats and some monkeys. The understory is what links the canopy above and the forest floor below, so it is possible to find some creatures whose habitat overlaps the understory from these layers. Plants here tend to have quite a large leaf to capture what little sunlight gets through, and some have channels down the middle to allow rainwater to run down to the tree roots on the ground. Now we at the forest floor. Very little sunlight is able to reach the forest floor, which means very little is able to grow here. As it is dark and damp, leaves that fall to the ground decay quickly, quite quickly. The ground is covered with the fallen leaves, fruits, seeds, and small branches, which all decompose. Fungi can be found feeding on the decay matter. The types of creatures found on the forest floor include the agute, which feeds on the fallen Brazilian nuts, as well as the armadillos, scorpions, frogs, iguanas, and the anteaters. The largest predator, the jaguar, prowls around the forest floor. There are also lots of insects such as the beetles and the termites. In the lakes and the wet areas, you will also find creatures such as the caiman and the anacondas, both Fierce predators. Here are some other creatures, animals of the rainforest. Animals.
animals of the rainforest. Plants of the rainforest. I hope you learned something about the rainforest biome.